California is producing less than half the homes it needs for its demand right now. California's Department of Housing and Community Development suggests that lawmakers will need to consider serious policy changes if California is going to build the projected 1.8 million new homes needed by 2025. Huge difference from 2007, right? The statewide housing assessment report is still in draft form and they're gathering public input at workshops around the state. Director Ben Metcalf says about a third of all California renters today are paying more than 50% of their income in rent. Those paying the largest share of their income for rent and transportation aren't concentrated in expensive cities such as San Francisco or Los Angeles. They're largely living in rural Northern California counties and in the Central Valley. He added, we're seeing home ownership rates at the lowest level they've been since World War II. This report also points to regulatory and land use policies that hike development costs and delay building. The takeaway for the real estate industry is primarily twofold. First, the department is urging changes in policies in many directions to ease the housing crunch, less regulation on building and easing the land policies. These alone could get more homes to the market much faster, increasing inventory to meet the increasing demand. Second is the path to home ownership for first time home buyers with inflated rents. In the greater Sacramento area, over half of the communities have average rents over $1,800, the highest being about $2,638 in El Dorado Hills. That's $2,638. If we look at the break even point on a home purchase, it's less than four years in most neighborhoods, and some as low as two and a half years, or actually 2.2 years. Cal HFA has several programs to assist with down payments and closing costs that we, as an industry, can leverage to assist people in reaching their goals. So the old 20% down is not necessary. 81% of millennials don't know that they can buy a home with less than 20% down. So we need to get the word out and let them know. Educate your potential customers. Now if you get your chance to attend one of the workshops by the California's Department of Housing, go to it. Get educated. Get Find out what's happening and get heard. Now for minding your own business. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to a term we call Customer Eve. We've talked about it many times about keeping in contact with past clients, calling potential leads, sending weekly emails, doing videos, etc. But what we do with those moments of connectivity can mean either success or, hey, you're just an annoyance. Now, Eve means before, but in this case, it's an acronym. It's an enrichment, value and entertainment. So EVE, -E. every contact with a customer should fall under one of these three categories. Number one, enrichment is the action of improving or enhancing the quality or value of something or the process of making someone wealthy or wealthier. Number two, value is the regard that something is held to deserve, the importance, worth or usefulness of something. Entertainment, the third, is the action of providing or being provided with amusement or enjoyment, having fun. For the most part, customers will react positively if they feel your knowledge will enrich their lives, they get something of value out of it, or hey, they're just plain having fun and entertained. So when you're developing your marketing material, video, phone scripts, or emails, anything that you're doing, think about which category you're offering to these customers, Customer Eve. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for watching and have a great day.